All right, so we have one card that's upright and two that are inverted for you. And the first one is the Eight of Cups and the Cephas card. Okay, Eight of Cups and the Cephas card. All right, so this means to me, Leo, that recently you've been going through um, a lot of challenge the challenges that have made you really sit back and think about what's the best way forward and to you right now it may seem like everything seems like a lot of work like it's just why is everything so hard right now and you're also reflecting on other people and you're feeling emotional to the point where it's almost getting out of hand like but you're not saying much about it um and then when you do it comes it it's like you're not you are saying something about it, but it's misdirected and it's misdirected towards uh, people in sort of a negative way. But it's really because internally you're going through a lot. So a lot of the things that you're doing and saying are maybe getting misinterpreted or just landing on the wrong people for the wrong reason. So that's what I'm seeing with this card right here. And that's going to Uranus is saying that it's time for you to reflect and the only way you're going to get emotionally stable is if you start to really look at this this inner turmoil that you're going through and and not put it on other people. Um, and because if you if you're really upset about this, talk about this, but don't, you know, nitpick these other things that are just kind of getting on your nerves because of the root problem is actually what's really getting in the way. So. That's what this card is really telling you right now. And that's what I'm feeling from you right now, too. A um, bit of frustration. Um, why is everything so hard kind of feeling, okay? And next, we have this Queen of Pentacles and the Fixed Earth sign. Okay, and again, we have this Uranus coming in retrograde in the sign of Taurus. So I've been seeing a lot of Taurus cards. And in this one, the Queen of Pentacles is... It's inverted, but it is a Taurus card. There's Taurus energy in it, and it's a fixed earth sign. And with this being inverted for you, it tells me that there is a struggle, that um, this could be related to work. It could be, at, at why is everything so hard? How come um, my interactions with people are just uh, so um, difficult right now? Why can't... I just have something easy. Why is nothing easy right now? This is what I keep getting. So it, with this kind of card, what you want to do is uh, for the Queen of Pentacles is just remember how to uh, delegate, remember how to negotiate, remember um, how to sort of um, stay the course and how to present yourself as somebody who is stable and somebody who um, can just get the job done because uh, whatever is in the way is uh, because of confusion okay and so then that's where I see the Sagittarius card which is the ace of Pentacles which is upright which is that and, and see you see the single pinnacle here and also the single pinnacle here meaning that there is definitely um, some sort of direction that you're trying to go in with work and you just want a straight answer you want a straight um, you want a straight path and you will find it because this card is right up and it's also got um, this Capricorn energy in it and the Saturn energy and Sagittarius energy meaning that you will have success you will find your way forward you will get um, direct and you in all of this difficulty will start to sort of um, fix itself okay but I think you just need to know about it first and the root cause is really that um, you're feeling a lot of frustration so it's coming out in some sort of negative way whether you're over talking overthinking over analyzing um, over sharing something is going on right there so just just remember that the short small phrases for people um, try to keep yourself collected and just move forward in that direction okay so that's the story that's the theme right now so if that resonated with you please do me a favor type down below yes that's true I'm going through that where can we go from here or something like that okay all right so because I, I really do like to hear from you guys because it, it helps me to help you all right so next we have the Rider Waite cards, and we're going to get really personal. Um, this is going to sort of 
magnify what's going on with you and help you see the way forward. And it's also going to be messages from Uranus. So if you, you know, are anxious to see these cards about yourself, say, tell me more about myself in the comments down below. And that's going to help. Okay, here we go. All right, what is going on? I don't like that this card is bent. I don't like any of my cards to be bent. And this one has a slight bend in it, and I don't know why. Okay, <laughs> so let's see what we have. Okay, so I'm getting, I've gotten the High Priestess quite a lot in some of the other readings. And also this one, the Ace of Wands, with this High Priestess being upright, this is telling me that you're using your intuition, that you have a lot of wisdom to impart. It also tells me that you're really trying to stick with something traditional right now and that um, it could also mean that there's something going going to happen like um, something traditional like a reunion or there it could be a wedding or something around you but that that's sort of like a the flip side of what this card means but it could mean that um, but for the most part, it's just saying that you're open right now, that you have a lot of intuition, you're seeing things for what they really are, um, your eyes are opening up to the truth, and that truth is going to really set you free. And that could be also another thing that you're reflecting on here is like what's true and what's not true. And you just, you're trying to sift through um a lot of misinformation and that that could be cleared up by you just really thinking to yourself like what makes sense and trusting that trusting that for yourself and then once you've made up your mind and said okay I believe this to be true then because my intuition tells me that this is true it's going to show you a path and it's going to show you your direction and as long as you follow it even if it's the wrong direction you're still going in a direction that is going to lead to something um, where things are revealed because this card, the high priestess, always reveals what is uh, what is true, what 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 needs to happen for you, whether you go down the wrong path to get there, but it will reveal to you what is true. And Uranus, that's another thing that it does when it goes into retrograde, is it forces you to reveal what is true for yourself. Okay, and then also right here we have the Four of Wands again. This is a reunion card. Um, this, uh, there must be something going on. I don't know if August, if you're actually, you know, someone out there is getting married or if there's some sort of family reunion or some sort of celebration. Sorry, my hair is getting in my face today. Some sort of celebration. Um, that it's, it's a really nice card to have. So whatever Uranus is bringing your way, maybe your friends are getting together finally, or maybe you haven't seen someone in a long time and you're going to go visit them. You're taking that chance. You're thinking to yourself, you know, it's worth it because I can't do this anymore. I need to be around this person. So some sort of reunion. And now we have the Ace of Wands, but it's upside down. Okay. So what this is telling me here is that you haven't really been using all of your best qualities to your advantage because when you have the ace of wands it means that you're on you're you're on fire you you're confident you're cool you're collected uh, things are happening for you just naturally and when this card is upside down it means that you're not having enough confidence right now in yourself you're you're um you're not as direct as you usually are and it's really getting in the way of things and so it's it's something that you need to work on and need to fix and that's what I'm seeing right here too with this fixed earth um, and then with the Cephas card it, it's miss it's it's the way you're coming off to people right now and it you know that what you're doing because I, I can you guys Leo's are always super smart they you guys always know the problem it's just whether or not you're you're in a good place to fix it or not because sometimes you're just like I don't feel like I'm in a good place and then everything sort of falls apart but what you want to do is get yourself back to that good place and maybe that's what these next set of cards is going to be about is the energy that you need to get yourself back um, because that's 
what I'm going to be reading next is what's what do you have going for you? What is Uranus going to bring you? What kind of blessing? So if you want to hear um, Uranus bring you a blessing, type down below. I'm ready for my blessing and blessing will come your way. And there's going to be some good energy. And we're going to find out what that is and how you get that ace of wand, that ace of wands back up right for yourself. OK. And how you get that ace of pentacles. See, there's two aces in here. Your first ace was upright, meaning that you have direction, but your ability to use your wand is not working right now. So you're trying to use it, but it's not working. It may even be backfiring on you, okay? So, yeah. Let's see. That kind of reminds me of uh, Harry Potter where they use the wand, the guy uses the wand, and I think it's is it Ron? And he instead of turning his wine, uh, his water into wine, he turns it into a mouse. And then is oh, it's a cup that looks kind of like this, right? And it has a little tail that comes out of it. <laughs> it's funny. I watch a lot of TV, right? <laughs> All right, let's see. What's your energy? Type down below. I want to hear my energy, and I can tell you already, this is good. It's upside down though, but we'll figure it out. Oh, you know what? I did. I want to. No, those are the cards. I wanted to make sure that, um, okay, here's the thing. As those cards came up, I did shuffle these cards, but those cards did come up for another sign. And it almost just tripped me to think that, like, I didn't shuffle, but I just, I did. And uh, so... But it could be the same message because sometimes Uranus will bring in the same message. All right, let me see. I want to make sure that I definitely shuffle good and pull this next card. Okay, great. That's a good card. Okay, so this one, the first one, I had pulled this for other signs, so I guess Uranus is trying to tell us something here. But this one's upside down. This is your sacral chakra, and it's the second chakra, and it's ruled by the archangel um, Ariel, meaning that your love system is shut off, like your, uh, your ability to radiate right now is kind of shut down, and our radiate love, whether or not you have, of course you have it, but you aren't putting it out there into some sort of discernible way. So I think that goes back to this miscommunication. And that can even happen at work, not just in your home life or your family unit or your relationship. But it can come off as you looking close, seeming closed off to people. Um, and that could happen if you're nitpicking things or you've just turned yourself off for a little while so you can reflect but other people are seeing it because they're like hey you know you're you're Mr. Leo or Mrs. Leo and you're always happy and you're happy go lucky what happened here that could happen in your relationship at work in a lot of different places so Uranus's message to you and it's blessing that, that it's going to give you is to open up that sacral chakra open that love back up if you need to meditate I have chakra videos go back to those um, look up the sacral chakra and really open yourself up to love again and even if it's just a loving smile on your face and anytime you're in a situation and it's a conflict and it's starting to happen, think in your mind two words, love and understanding, love and understanding, love and understanding, and say, I'm bringing love and understanding to this. You don't have to say it out loud, but you can say it to someone else. You can even type it down below, love and understanding, because that is something that you need right now, okay? All right, so there we go. I'm off my soapbox about that. <laughs> okay, so this next card had been pulled for the previous, some of the previous, um, cards too, I mean signs, and this one is the Envy card, and for you it's it's inverted, which is good, meaning that <clears throat> you do have a lot of gratitude towards people who've helped you, you have a lot of uh, respect for people, and you've also been able to be appreciative of the help that you've been given, and the things that are in your life, and any of the blessings that have come your way, because when this card is um, inverted it means that you're not kind of looking at the on the other side as the grass is always greener because you can really have a lot of 
gratitude for what's around you and you really appreciate it. So that's a really good uh, way to feel and way to be. So it doesn't seem to be a problem in your life right now that you're unappreciative. You actually really, really are. And that is going to be something you want to connect with and show other people. So with the love and understanding, you also are showing gratitude. I really appreciate this. Thank you so much. And you look around and you say, I, I, I'm really happy that I've achieved as much as I have and that people have helped me. It all works together, okay? And then the last card is this happy family card, which is coming your way. And that is your gift and your blessing from Uranus. So if you do like this card, please type down below. I like having a happy family. Okay, so, <clears throat> you know, you can see the everyone in the background there with the rainbow and they're all prancing around. So um, I think that when you have this time to reflect and you use this gratitude and you open that sacral chakra, and you really communicate in a direct manner. You go to the root cause of what's making you upset and what's shutting you down or what's uh, creating a miscommunication and discord. Once all that is cleared away, which by August the 15th, when Uranus comes into your life and it goes into retrograde, you are going to find a way forward. And it's going to have to do with this fixed earth this Taurus energy of how to take care of the family, how to take care of work, how to have perseverance, how to have stability, how to get down to earth. And it's going to be back to nature, back to yourself. And you're going to put these roots down and then you're going to become the Leo that you always have been. And you haven't lost anything. You're just going through something. And then this ace will become upright. And then you'll also have this direction. And I think that just with a little bit of, um, you know, reflection and using this intuition, everything's going to be revealed to you. And then first, you are going to move forward with your happy life and your happy family. And I mean, it could be that if you don't have, you know, kids or a relationship, it doesn't have to be that it could also be your mom, your dad, your aunt, your uncle, your cousins, like, whatever it is that you're working on, or, you know, sometimes your friends can be your family. You know, I have a sister from another mister. Her name is Jessica. And I always, you know, rely on her because, you know, she's, she's an awesome, awesome person. And, uh, I, I and I'm, I'm thinking her birthday actually might be, she might be a Leo. So maybe she's seeing this video right now. That's interesting that she popped into my head, or maybe she's going to be watching this later. Who knows? Um, but yeah, so that's my family because, you know, uh, sometimes like your real family is not always there for you as some of mine have not been, which is a whole different story, but I do have Jessica. So, you know, so it could be extended family and friends too. 